And then with that, I want to turn it over to my favorite co-host, uh, Ms. Karen Henson. She's going to walk us through uh, some rapid tips and tricks. Uh, and Karen's got some really, really cool stuff around collapsible containers. And, you know, the, the quick thing I'll say ahead of Karen um, showing us all this stuff is I love, love, love all the uh, the user interactivity and user experience enhancements that Tableau has been putting uh, into the dashboard functionality in the last, yeah, I want to say maybe four or five releases. Um, and this is one of those things that is a game changer. And every time I put it into a dashboard, the client uh, that I'm working with loves it because it, it allows for the canvas to be used for multiple purposes. And so um, if you haven't used these before, I definitely would encourage you to, to really check this out and to dig in um, and, and let Karen take it away for us. Karen, pumped about this one. Okay, you can, you can hear me, right? Thumbs yes. up? You're okay. Awesome. All right, awesome. Um, okay, so I have a tutorial um, to kind of share with you guys just some quick tips and tricks, maybe about 10 minutes, um, how, how you can do this in a dashboard. And um, everything is published on Tableau Public, so I'll have a link at the end. And if you want to walk through it in more detail, just know that everything's available. You can download all of this. So if it seems like I'm going through it kind of fast, it's just for the sake of time, but it is all available um, and available for you to download. But um, this is a look at the dashboard that I built. And um, you can see I'm connected uh, you know what, before I, before I show you guys the dashboard, actually, I'm sorry to jump around like this. With examples, because I realized that not everyone even knows what this, what the, what these are. So as Nelson said, it's, it's been out for a little while, this feature, um, I want to say 2019.2 that release, um, allowed for you to add show hide buttons that would pop containers out and then have them disappear. But if you've never used this before, it does seem like it's kind of like flown under the radar. Um, let me show you what it does or like a few examples. So you're looking at a dashboard here with um, some coffee data by region. Uh, this is a pretty cool dashboard and you can see um, over here this filter icon. So when I click this, this uh, container pops out and the filter is displayed, but just think of if that wasn't there, there'd be, you know, a giant row of filters across the top of this dashboard or down the side and having this container that expands and contracts like that um, really saves a lot of valuable resource. And I thought that was a pretty cool example. Um, another example, this is a dashboard from Kelly Gilbert, who is an ATUG member and works with me at Chick-fil-A. So this is her Peachtree Road Race dashboard, and she is using these containers to display additional information. So I can click on those eyes and a container will pop out. There you go. And additional information is displayed. And then clicking it again should hide the container. So uh, Adam, I believe mentioned Tableau Zen Master Kevin Floor Lodge in his presentation. This is another dashboard that he has on his um, Tableau public page. But if if you want any inspiration or ideas of like, how could you use this practically? How, what, what could you use this for? Um, here's some ideas. Um, just navigate out to Kevin's profile. He also has a really good blog post on this topic. So feel free to just click that link embedded within his dashboard but okay now i'm going to come back here so okay back to my dashboard so i built this superstore dashboard and I, this is an example of how to use the show hide containers and in this dashboard i'm just looking at three measures and the goal i'm going to keep it pretty simple um i'm looking at sales year over year orders and profit margin and so you can see this dark color is 2019 and the lighter color is 2018. so i don't know about you guys but a lot of times you'll get i will get requirements or feel like i kind of have an idea of what a stakeholder wants in a dashboard and i'll go down one path and think i have a really good 
draft, really good prototype. And then only to get questions about like, well, it would be great to see in addition to like the years, perhaps like every month for 2019 versus those months in 2018. So that a lot of times leads to multiple tabs and workbooks with just a bunch of different views and Sometimes I just wonder, do people really click through every single one of these views and go look at all this, or do they just kind of come to the very first one? So in an effort for this dashboard to just keep things together and clean, I thought it would be really cool to use this feature to expand each of these measures. So if I see more about sales, if I click on that button, it just like looks as though it expands and blows out sales. Now I've got a little view and I can see um, every month 2019 versus 2018 and same thing for orders and for profits. So just to show um, kind of walk through how, how to do this, it's actually really, really easy, surprisingly simple um, and a really cool way to keep things clean. So just starting out with that dashboard, having everything at like a high level. I also built three different worksheets. So within the workbook, there are a, there are views with these like area graphs for sales, orders, and profits, and those are all shown on this um, story point together. But in reality, there are three separate um, worksheets in my workbook. So. The next step would really be to drop in a container. I can use a horizontal or vertical container um, and just make it floating and put it on the dashboard. Now I've highlighted here, like added a border just so you can see, here's the container. You can kind of see those like words right here. So I've added in a container. That would be my next step. You can also tell that like I've adjusted and manipulated the X and Y coordinates and the height and width of that thing to cover up the whole dashboard because my specific goal was, hey, it'd be cool to have um, those show high buttons so that when those are clicked, it looks as though it, each of the measures take over all of this space. So um, I want to show just a little quick tip here. Um, Renaming containers when you add is actually just really easy. I've found it to be a good practice just to keep things simple and organized. If you don't have them named, then they'll just show up as like horizontal or vertical. But if you wind up with several containers, it can just get confusing. So I've found it helps as far as like organization to just click name them and you can name them, you know, whatever sales container. And then you kind of know what you're looking at. So just a quick tip. Um, the next step, once you've added that container, um, as for me, for instance, I dropped in the year to date sales tab. I'll make this a little bigger. Um, and I chose to change the background within that container so that the worksheet would show up green so that it really would look when I expanded sales like that, that color, that whole sales, that area filled up with the sales measure. Um, and then finally, to get that button, um, it's actually just really simple. Um, if you select a container, you'll notice when it's selected up in the top right hand corner, there's a triangle that's facing downwards. And when you click on that triangle, you get a menu like this. And clicking add show hide button is what adds a button like this to your dashboard. Um, but just to show you um, like an example and kind of walk through how to do that. Here's my container. It's that simple. Then you get that button. Now you'll notice like it just drops in somewhere random, but you can move it wherever. And in addition, you can come over like your X and Y. So I personally did that so that they would all line up like at the same height and be kind of level. 
um, and I made them the same width and height as well. Uh, but in addition, I just wanna highlight, you can also edit these buttons and they can be, they're really customizable. Change the image. Um, you can add a border, a background color. You can change the tooltip uh, text that are over those. And um, you can even change like what image shown when you like have that uh, container displayed versus it, there can be different um, button or different text when it's hidden. Um, so I really hope that was helpful. And that this is something that um, everybody can use uh, perhaps at work or just in whatever project. And if you'd um, like to feel free to download these workbooks or just look, look through them further um, if you want to kind of look through them at your own pace. Uh, you'll find them out on my Tableau Public, and um, I made sure to set them to where everyone can download them. And before we move on, does anybody have any questions? Hey, Karen, we got uh, a good number of questions in the Q and A. Um, the the first question here was, do you remember which uh, version of Tableau it, this became a feature? Uh, the question was what was it 2019.2 2019.2 yeah perfect yeah okay. i know right guys because like nobody even it's like i said it's kind of under the radar no one knows this is out there and it really seems like no i mean nelson said the same thing nobody really uses it um but it's really useful and helpful and it's one of those things that i bet a lot of people didn't even notice that is like even an option yeah absolutely okay, sorry no that, that's perfect um I think you covered everything. There have been a couple questions about uh, getting into the Slack group. We'll we'll make sure that uh, that gets opened back up and we'll um, get that going for everybody. So um, any other questions from the group, feel free to, I don't know if you can unmute yourselves and ask a question, but uh, any other questions? Um, oh, another question was, is this on your Tableau public profile? I think the answer to that is yes, but. Yes, it is. Awesome. You can find yes, it. Yes, there you go, Katie. Uh, yeah. Karen dot cool his stuff that Karen does. Not really. That's just for my kids, some random stuff. That's our ATUG dashboard. Um, but yeah, like just sense. go out there, you, you guys download it. And um, like I said, it's really simple. So hopefully this helps everybody like add it to your dashboards at work and it impresses people. <laughs> uh, Jason, Jason uh, encouraged uh, the fact that your uh, South Carolina, uh, University of South Carolina Heritage has not stopped your Tableau. Um, oh, amazing. Get a uh, hand on here. <laughs> we'll let that one slide, Jason. Um, okay, go Gamecocks. Now go Gamecocks. Maybe we should go to Kahoot. Uh, <laughs> poor Jason went to UGA. Um, and then um, Michael's got one more question how to make a container that is clickable with an I symbol. Uh, Karen, you want to take that one? If you want to change that icon, how, how would you do that? Oh, um, yeah, it's actually, it's really simple. If you, um, can I still show my screen? You can. Hang on. No, I don't know if I can. You know what? Don't worry about it, Anna. Keep going. I'll just tell you. But um, when you um, add the show hide button, if you click on the button, you'll notice a drop down and you can edit button, just select edit button. And that's where you can change it from to a different image, or even like instead of showing an image, if you wanted it to have certain text, you could do that too. But you can, um, you'd have to go download an I image, um, but you can probably get one from anywhere or just make one in PowerPoint with the icons. So good question. Yeah, it's a great one. And then the the one small thing I would add is um, you would make sure that it's a transparent. PNG instead of having kind of a, a white block around it or whatever color, um, if you can to make that uh, really blend into your dashboard naturally. Awesome. So it's a shape, indeed. Yes. Awesome. Okay, I think that wraps us up. Um, if you have more questions, uh, go ahead and submit those, um, and Karen will uh, check out the Q and A, uh, and appreciate that. And um, 